Welcome everybody to my Darth Mod 8.0.1 Ultimate Edition, I suppose. Sweden. Hard. Yeah. I figured, well, let's just make a fucking list, but it doesn't really work. So, I'm uh, thinking of playing a Sweden, or even. Even worse, I'm gonna play a Sweden. And uh, difficulty will be set on hard for the first time, I believe. I mean, of all the Total War series I've ever played, I've never really tried the hard mode. Um, this is like the second time recording this game though, because I figured, well, I could try as France on hard as well. However, that campaign did not go as uh, smoothly as I wanted, and therefore I was looking for something less challenging. And I'll, I'll explain it uh, to you. Let's see. Um, if you go to France, uh, you'll see we've got like a nice center position in Europe, some uh, a colony in India, and a very nice set of colonies in America. However, uh, the problem with France is it's way too much spread out, and uh, in, the in the beginning, it's very simple uh, to advance. So. Uh, the Netherlands or the uh, United Nations, uh, or no, like what? The United Provinces declared war on us. We took Amsterdam, all of their colonies were taken by us, or they became pirates, and yeah, that all went well. But then uh, England declared war on us, and damn it, my friend, too soon, way too soon. So then I'm just thinking around with Sweden, and let me just tell you, Sweden is one of the finest countries ever and it's basically because you know you don't really start with war you start with a giant danger but or at least in a you start with a rather dangerous situation that can unfold rather shitty so uh, let me just show you diplomatically speaking we are not at war with anyone Di diplomatically speaking we are not even uh, allied to anyone uh, well we are at war with the Barbary state and the pirates but then again every nation is I mean let me just show you except for like the Ottomans like uh, yeah don't want to be in their shoes and so um, but the beautiful Sweden. Yes, so we are a Protestant uh, state with abs an absolute monarchy. And a lot of the European countries like us, uh, except for Russia, uh, Poland, Lithuania, Denmark, and then the Barbary states. But yeah, it's like... And the pirates, but... You know, you don't really have to look at the, the smaller nations. However, we are trading with France. We are trading with Great Britain, and yeah, that's about it. So, we are trading with a shit ton of people, and that's good because trade will increase your opinion about people. So, for instance, Great Britain, they are like indifferent with us, and if you look at like, uh, uh, let's see. So, we have a trade agreement, and it adds fifteen diplomatic points to us. So. That's very helpful. Uh, historical grievances, I suppose it's gone in like a couple of turns. So after all, we are friendly with everyone. So the only difference between me and France is the religion and that gives us minus five points. And I definitely want to trade with as many people as possible. So even though Russia is like, eh, we're not really friends. They, let's see, uh, satisfaction, sec satisfactory and to talk so they do want to trade and trade is good it's beneficial for both parties and yeah so Poland Lithuania would you please like me to trade yeah 360 uh, I suppose gold coin pieces it works for me you know trade is good and then the Corlands trade uh, yeah sure Denmark my friend even though we are not really friends no so it's only Denmark who doesn't really want to trade and with the other ones we can't really See, can I trade ports in your home region at full capacity? Okay, that's doable, you know. And next up, uh, we definitely want an ally. And I'm thinking, given how the situation with uh, Denmark, so you'd think, yeah, sure, just conquer Denmark and call quits. Uh, where are you, Denmark? Oh, 
Denmark is allied with Poland Lithuania, which is well, I could hold them off. And with Russia, you know, Russia's kind of like my whole Eastern Front. You don't want your Eastern Front to be upset, especially not if your Southern uh, ish Front is also trying to contest your ass. So, with that in mind, and also like Russia, and Russia is also allied with Poland Lithuania. So, it's like a uh, trinity of uh, idiots, so to speak. But, um,. No need to worry, we are not at war with them. We are just merely next to each other in a very small way. So, we'll just research the pluck bayonets very well and put a navy in uh, upwards. You know, no need for any hostilities, hostilities just yet because uh, we want to upgrade all these small buildings to generate wealth and let's see, let's see so this one generates 715 wealth uh, in the region 8 per turn uh, to town wealth in the region and enables us to research some stuff you know it's always nice to get some stuff so more money more stuff you know and just pelts to trade and wealth and let's see uh, happiness in the lower classes and a spy or an agent and more fur and that's all she wrote uh, second I want to create a bloody well strong army because I'm not gonna invade anything just yet I'm just gonna go uh, get a colony because uh, we are able to get a shit ton of trade going, which generates a shit ton of wealth. Uh, enough wealth to invade, I'm thinking, India, given how, um, as Sweden, you kind of have the technolo technological edge, even though the Indonesian, or not Indonesian, uh, the Indian factions, so India, so the Indian factions tend to have also uh, cannons and stuff, but they start off with rather primitive units, so. Um, militias, even though I too can create militias, but they also have like uh, peasants or certain forms of peasants, so they are massive, but then again, they have a low morale. So let me just uh, look at my army here cavalry, cannons. I want mm, two more units of cavalry, uh, artillery, and max out this unit and max out. Issue. So within six turns or somewhat six turns, we'll have a nice decent army. Okay, uh, the second thing on, on our minds should be to wait. Let me just hold back the recruitment in here. Just you know, the first turns are very much important. Uh, we want to create a sh really <laughs> can't even. Okay, so that's plenty. We want to create a strong point in here. So uh, we'll just create a small fort. And even though there's like a small fort in here, it doesn't really cover all of the city. We want the city to be fortified as well. And yeah, that's all she wrote for the first turn. And let's just hope uh, not everyone's gonna try to make us an ally just yet, because, well, uh, with alliances you really have to uh, pick a side, really. So, Poland, Lithuania, you want to become an ally, could work out. However, with my experiences with uh, the beginning of this game, oh wow, no. <laughs> I mean, Russia could be a generous ally, or the Marfa Confederation as well, but no. Definitely not. And the, the choice is basically, do I want to become friends with England? Or do I want to become friends with France? Um, I'm thinking England, given how the, the, their na naval support will definitely help us. So on land, you don't really have to expect a shit ton of them. Because the, the AI is buffed, because this is uh, the Darth Mort. Yeah, the Darth mod, you know, <laughs> for Empire Total War. So the uh, the AI is there to actually help you, or is very, very surprisingly strong. 
Okay, so let's build you. And I'm thinking uh, militia and cavalry will secure this fort very nicely. And you are in your own borders. Okay, and yeah, you don't really want to bring too much artillery in the battle. So we'll just maintain this unit's... Uh, it's just form, I suppose. And, oh yeah, right, we've got to move you. Because this is a orthodox, or oh, this set settlement is orthodox. As you may know, St. Petersburg. Um, yeah, it's part of Russia right now, or it used to be, I don't know. But uh, I'm thinking, I am thinking that the Russians really want St. Peter Petersburg back. And that's why this fort will play a giant role because a small fort in here will basically secure this small crossing and they still can come from numerous sides. So yeah, just saying, holding this settlement wouldn't hurt or yeah, I'm not really sure how you can walk on this campaign map, but yeah, we definitely want to uh, secure all the footholds into mainland Sweden and yeah that's basically it big one so we've got two new ports and both of those ports will focus on trading because trade is very much important let's see oh we can't even get like trading going anymore that's how much we spend on military already and building uh, let's see can we actually get another trade agreement going well still with Denmark be fair today. Nope. Uh, let's see. You know, recruited. Excellent. Building constructed. War declared. Prussia and Poland, Lithuania. And United Provinces and Spain have declared war on each other as well. With probably the United Provinces in lead. Okay, next time. Military lines from Austria, and they will give me one of their. Uh, no, I won't give my. Uh, actually, I'm not really willing to trade anything, but hey. Oh, uh, wow, well, really? Yeah, call my allies, you know, just for the sake of. Okay, it's just. Uh, me and Russia against the rest, and. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so. My understanding was um, that I would be in a peaceful situation, but not really for long. So I'll take my army, lines broken, Austrian, uh, England, so trade agreement cancel. Okay, so we've got the Russians in here, they probably won't really do much. We've got a small army here. And we need to hold out at least two turns before our defensive position strengthens. So that means basically we need to march an army up north and hope Denmark is not going to join. And okay, so the artillery is still in the making. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. Let's see, got two more units of militia and some other stuff. Uh, so a conservatorium, okay, and a cannon, found cannon foundry, cannon foundry, and we also want to make you a trading port. So what Russia really wants to do is get like a a port in this vast ocean and that's where sweden really holds the power you know you have all these trading posts and just one narrow gap to them and russia doesn't really have a port uh, except for this small piece and perhaps in here in the crimea as well so naval wise i'm not really scared of them we could actually contest them in here but no, that's way too far from home. Come to think of it. Okay, so we could make a board, board declared Poland, Lithuania, and Austria, Prussia, and Austria. 
Okay. And Captain Kidd arrives. You are in like huge for infiltrators army. Let's just see what agent was detected. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not even able to do the smallest tasks. Okay. Mm, pikeman. Okay. Um. Definitely want to just you know, get something that may generates more money because. Money will basically make the war with Russia simple or, well, less hard. A military alliance allies Great Britain and they are enemies of a lot of people. And uh, no, especially not if you want to give me for that region. That region is very dear to me, sorry. So I'm just going to go for what's next. No, thank you. I don't really want an ally, really, especially if you are at war. I really miss the option to become a defensive ally, you know? That really works for me, so you don't really have to join any wars directly. But, uh, we could perhaps get like a nice uh, ally going with, with Britain. So, agent recruited. I'm not really sure why I would want an agent, but hey, you know, go... Uh, Go to Russia and do stuff. Uh, we'll just bring the navy around to get like uh, a faster. Also, very very handy. Come to think of it, if you have a navy in this place, you know you can really move your units quite rapidly. Okay, I want to know where the fuck did his army go? Uh, yeah, sure. So we've got like a small army. You like disembark, right? Uh, you get to sh chill in the fort, I suppose. Okay, and you are ordering me to get back in there. Mm. National prestige, prestige, uh, research points. No, not really interested. Um, yeah, sure. So the cannons will be shipped off as well, and more militiamen. Uh, yeah. I mean, why not? You know, militia, militia uh, are. Oh, don't don't underestimate, underestimate the militia, my friend. Okay, we've researched plug the nets, and that means they. Yeah, I don't really want carbine cavalry. Really, just like it. I want a ring bayonet. Uh, plug bayonets is basically a uh, a knife uh, with the option to pluck into the end of the barrel making the gun basically spear but enables you to fire so it basically uh, forces you your unit to become a okay i'm not really focusing on that but uh, basically for um, what forces your unit not focuses you forces your unit to become a melee unit and with the ring bayonet you basically have a ring and that makes it uh, still able to fire i guess and then you also can have the socket bayonet and i'm not sure okay a blade fitted with a collar that attaches to the musket barrel and, and then locks it in place turning the weapon into a useful short pike okay so a pike instead of a spear the socket bayonet is a development of the earlier bayonets and corrects their uh, defective method of attaching the blade to the musket. Previous designs simply jammed the uh, bayonet into the barrel and relied on a tight fit around the barrel. Okay, sure. You enter the city. Can we raise the taxes? Is that an option? Uh, wait, where would I do this? Objective? Prestige? Oh, wow. Well. Our military might is seriously suckish compared to the Russians. No, I want not diplomacy. Ah, there we go. Just the government politics. Oh, we should look at that. How much money do we get more? Yeah, about a shit ton of money more. So growth per turn. Town wealth from regions and theater, happiness rating, population growth. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just have to uh, deal with it right now. So more money means we could build more stuff. This will generate happiness research points. Uh, yeah, okay. Just talking about money and then not, still not uh, doing anything. Major fishery. Yeah, sure. You know, why not? Okay, then the next. Okay. Agent. Um, your artillery pieces. Yes, of course. We don't really need uh, artillery. Uh, if you think of it, in a fort, given how uh, the way you defend a fort, uh, I do mean. Yeah, I want to have my cavalry inside though. So we now have three artillery pieces, two units of cavalry, excellent, and some light cavalrymen in the fort itself. Okay. Could you uh, by any chance? No, you can't recruit any militia. Okay, next turn, you know. So I'm thinking of adding this little city and I'm not really sure what the city is called because the first one could be the name of the province and the second one could be the name of the city. So let's just go for uh, Karalia or Karelia. I don't know. However the fuck you want to pronounce it. It's there, you know. Right there. And... Oh, wow. Following a build-up of suspicion and disrupt between these two nations, their alliance has broken down. So, are you kidding me? France and Spain. Wow, that's a retarded... That's just retarded, mainly.